Hi, this is Marla with MarlaGetsFit.com and today is day number 192 of my low carb, high fat lifestyle change. And let's see, it's I can really tell the days are getting darker earlier because my video is looking like a little bit, not quite enough light in there. Um, so I probably had to shoot my videos a little bit earlier. Um, not liking the winter time. Anyway, so today is Monday and today is weigh in day. So got on the scale today and I'm actually up uh, almost a pound, 267, 267. So almost a pound, I was 266.4 last week, which I think is totally understandable. I am um, feeling a little bloaty, plus I, um, you know, on Sunday I had some carbs, I had a few carbs, so uh, I d totally understand that. So I'm back to it. Um, I did have to eat some pizza today. I try eating the crust only. Um, and that's really helpful. I like the cheese and I like the, the pepperoni. And then, uh, but today was a really, really busy day. We had, um, we had to get the house all clean today because we had someone coming over. And so we busted our buns, you know, all morning and I had my ketone drink, but then it took so long, you know, getting ready. And then we had to wait for, for them to go through the house and it was like, and then pick up my son from school. So I don't think I even ate until, I don't know, three, four o'clock, something like that. So I went all day without eating. I think it was a little bit long. I was starting to get really hungry. Normally I can go till 12, one-ish, and I'm not really hungry. Um, but today, uh, you know, and I was working out, so I actually got some exercise, so that's good. Um, but other than that, not not too much but I wanted to make sure that I got this video done because I've been having an issue and I think a lot of it is mental with putting it off and putting it off and then not doing the video so I wanted to make sure I got today's video done that's two days in a row that's the first time in a little while I don't know maybe two two weeks since I've had two in a row so I wanted to get that done um, still working on um, trying to to you know keep up with the low carb with out having a whole lot of fine you know my finances are you know it's towards the end of the month so low finances so we're really having to be creative with that trying to keep some stuff around that you know you can just grab like um, we made we have jello which is really you know really expensive you can make a bowl of jello sugar-free jello and um, hot dogs it's not the greatest thing but they certainly do in a pinch and some lunch meats but I try to keep it not the super, super cheap that doesn't even seem like real meat, <laughs> lunch meat, but you know, like a turkey, um, turkey lunch meat. And then the chunk chicken is really good from Winco, the rotis it's rotisserie chunk chicken. And you know, cheese, it's not too bad, do a few slices of cheese. And they have the bulk peanuts, which are a really good snack, but if you need to just throw something in your mouth real quick. Also pickles and olives are good. Um, trying to keep everything cheap. So I've been really trying to do that. Um, I need to go to the store and get some more provisions. And it sounds like someone's walking their dog, so the dogs are going crazy. Anyway, um, I I did almost finish a, a blog post that is going to be really cool. I'm really excited because I was watching a video yesterday from a doctor who's an expert in the low carb dieting and how it works with your body and all that stuff. And he had a really great video, and it was really inspiring and. Um, we'll show you about why you're, um, you know, counting your macros can be hurting you and if you count them the wrong way. So I'm almost done. I'm hoping to get that published tonight and then I will post that in this video and on my blog so you can check it out because it's really, really interesting and I found it really helpful um, for me. I think that I was having these problems before, especially if you stall. So I will definitely get that posted and you can check it out and... Send me your messages, like my Facebook page and my YouTube channel, and you know check out my blog, and I would love to hear from you. I definitely would love to hear any progress you're having, any problems, any good things that are happening to you. Um, so let me know, and I will see you on my next update.